Hi students. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, an additional video uh, I make to to provide uh, extra explanations about this uh, course outline of ACT three one three two. So, uh, so I focus on several uh, matters or items only. Okay, the first thing here. Okay, you see here, under the course content, uh, in the course outline, so in the first column, there is about the lecture, and then the second column is, uh, the second column contains the, uh, the, the list of the topics to be covered. So, there are like uh, 10 topics, I think. Okay, and then see the third column. Third column uh, in this course outline, face-to-face -face learning hours. So, I want to explain the numbers that you can see there. So, the first thing there. Okay, see the uh, chapter or topic 1. Topic 1, budget process, budgeting process. So, the number there, say, uh, you can see there, the number is 3. 3 means 3 hours. Uh, w1 means week one and then uh, ls is the name of the textbook uh, you can check the, the the textbook that we use uh, now that you use now and the name of the author the first author is uh, smith or something and c9 there c9 means you have to read or refer to chapter 9 in the textbook okay okay now see uh, topic 2, budget preparation. Uh, uh, and the time is 6 hours. So 6 hours means uh, one week you have 3 hours lecture. So 6 hours means uh, you have to spend uh, 2 weeks for for topic 2. So in, in the bracket there, you can see that the 2 weeks are week 2 and week 3. So week 2 and week 3, you have uh, uh, you have to learn uh, things related to uh, topic 2. Okay, topic 3, 3 hours. So, uh, you know that it is only one week. So, it is week 4. And you still refer to the textbook chapter 9. Okay, like I said earlier, the first 3 chapters are related to budgeting. So, you refer to only one chapter in the textbook only. In the course line, there are three chapters, but you refer to only one chapter in the textbook, which is the chapter 9. So, and then topic 4, uh, 3 hours, you will have to do this in week 5, and you have to refer to chap uh, textbook chapter 10 and chapter 11. Topic 5 also... Uh, 3 hours lecture and refer to still chapter 10 and 11 topic 6 okay topic 6 relevant course for decision making so it uh, it is a 3 hour lecture topic and you have to do that you will do that in week 7 refer to uh, textbook chapter 19 Okay, topic 7, refer to textbook chapter 19. Topic 8, refer to textbook chapter 20. And topic 9, refer to uh, textbook chapter, chapter 12. Topic 10, also refer to textbook chapter 12. See here, uh, topic 9, uh, you... There are two weeks. Okay. Topic nine. Uh, you will spend two weeks. Uh, to learn about uh, topic. Uh, to learn about material related materials related to topic. Topic nine. Topic ten. Also, you will. Uh, you will spend two weeks. Uh, to learn about uh, materials related to topic ten. So the thing that I want to to. 
to mention uh, or to explain today is uh, when you want to do the readings, uh, you refer to this course outline and you can see the, uh, the, the chapters, the topic in the course outline and chapters related to that topic in the textbook. Okay, so now you know how to, to check, uh, to read uh, which chapter in the textbook. Okay, that is the first one. And then uh, I want to share with you the second thing. Uh, the second thing is about the assessment. Uh, so there is a minor, uh, minor, what do you call it? Revision about this assessment. Uh, in the previous video, I have explained about this assessment. But uh, but the, the coordinator of the course have uh, changed uh, the assessment a bit. So this is the latest one. Okay, this is the latest one. Okay, we focus on this assessment. Okay, see here. First, online quizzes. So now you have to know that there are two online quizzes. The marks is still the same. The marks are still same, 10%. But there will, there will be two quizzes. Quiz 1, 5%. Uh, you have to do the quiz 1 in week 5. Uh, the quiz will cover from topic 1 to topic 3. And then, that is 5%. Uh, and then you have to do another quiz. Uh, which is the quiz 2. The marks uh, are 5%. And you have to do that in week 7. And this quiz 2... Uh, we'll cover topic 4 to topic 5. Okay, and then uh, and then uh, in the in week 9, you have to do a mid, mid semester test. Uh, and the mark for this test is 20%. And then I think uh, the mid semester uh, exam is, is same like the and no change in the mid sem exam uh, marks and coverage uh, and then uh, c group project okay group project uh, the marks related to this group project is 20% okay and then presentation video is 5% you have to submit that video in week 12 or you have to do the presentation maybe I have to check uh, and then you have to do a submission a report submission and that report uh, 15% marks for that report if the report is good you will get the good marks and as usual, final exam is 50%. Topics related to the final exam or topics to be asked in the final exam is 50%. So, uh, there's a, a change, uh, several changes in the assessment compared to the course outline that I have uh, explained or record in, uh, explained in the previous video. So, the, 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 the first change is the online quizzes. Uh, before this, uh, there is only one quiz. Now there are two quizzes. Okay, and then there is a, a, a correction about the group project. Group project, the presentation video is five percent, and the report uh, marks for the report is fifteen uh, percent. Total twenty percent. Okay, I hope everything is clear uh, about this course outline. Uh, feel free to to communicate with me in the in the WhatsApp group or comment session uh, if you have any question. Thank you very much.